Howdy guys, Rod here. Um, well today I'm going to try and teach you how to convert files from my 6030 Flytech or download files from my 6030 Flytech Vario and put them into a file on the computer so that I can email them to the scorekeeper at the next nationals and get on with a little bit of beer drinking. Anyway, um, this will be very amateur and it might be a bit long but watch carefully and uh, it took me a while to learn and if I can't teach you then no one will. Right, I'll just set this up so you can see what's going on. And uh, so I'm going to operate my 6030 here and to turn it on you push and hold this button here at the bottom and it comes up yes I want English so I push that and it goes through a battery check and it looks like the batteries are at about 63% both of them and so it is starting up and once it's started up you end up with your Vario screen here and um, so the first step you need to do is uh, put something called an SD card into your Vario. And this is what a little SD card looks like. I'd never actually used the things until this week. And where that goes is there's a little slot just here in the side of your 6030. And you push that in, uh, corner down. You can't actually put force, uh, corner up, sorry. You can't actually put the thing in the wrong way around. And I, I'll just show you that on the very I wasn't watching very well. There it goes there. And I think I understand why geeks have long fingernails because you actually have to push this in. You can use a pen until it goes click. So now there is an SD card in the Vario. I used to try and use this cable between this little port here and the USB on the computer here but there's just no way in hell that uh, this port will talk to that computer and I've just given up on that it's just hopeless I've tried for hours so um, the SD card is the way to go yay so the next thing you do is you push on menu which is the big center button and hold it And uh, right up the top, you'll see flights. So you push the center button again. And you'll have a list of your flights that you've done. And generally speaking, it'll be the last flight. In this case here, I know that I want to go on the one on the 3rd of February this year. Because I know that was quite a nice wee flight. 2 hours 17 in the year. And the next thing you do is you push, if you read there, it says copy to SD there. So you just push this function button once. And it says creating file. And it thinks away for a wee bit. And then it's one, two, three. Just try and read the first two, three digits. One, two, three it was. So that's done now. So what I do now is I take the SD card out and again I will need my long fingernail you push in and then it pops out and there's your little SD card and that has got the flight from the 3rd of March recorded on it on a file called an IGC file whatever that entitles you to then you will need one of these which you can buy in your local geek shop and this is what's called a card reader it actually says on it if it gets into focus card reader and you'll notice that there's a slot here which fits our beautiful little sd card so you push that in it can only go one way there's a little tongue and groove in the side there so you can only get it to fit one way and then you plug that into the USB of your little laptop. 
and it makes that lovely sound saying I have found a new drive so that's cool we'll just get rid of my virus checker I don't know whether you can see the screen maybe if I get up a little bit closer so I'll just kill my virus checker and then you go on to file manager down here the yellow folder and you'll go on to USB drive D which is the old uh, SD card there in the card reader so we click on that with one click USB drive D that didn't work I pushed on the wrong thing and you'll see a little folder here called flights which is for some reason where it, land, it ends up so you click that double click it and remember I said one two three so there's the flight there and you'll also see the date here whoops there's a touch screen 24th of the 9th 2021 which is today so that's when that file was created you tick it and then I actually go control C or you could use share up here and control C is copy and then if we go into documents I've got a folder there called hand gliding flights double click on that and go control V and there it is one two three so there is my flight on the hard drive of this computer now what you can do in, uh, in the folder handwriting flights so what you can do now is you can attach that to an email to the scorekeeper job done or in this case I'm going to turn off the file manager and I'll turn on Mr Google and it's me not Marnie and then uh, I will go on to good grief what's happened the computer's gone mad this regularly happens to me uh, kill that and in the search bar you go Avery A Y V R I uh, A Avery and you can go upload track so now you need you will need to register on avery the first time you go on but i'm already registered so i'm just going to go upload track and drag or drop or click here to browse so that circle there and you click on that and um it's actually going to the d file which is fine in this case because uh, I know it's flight 123 so I click on that and then I go open and what was the activity you click in the middle here and go hang glide so you just type H and it finds it hang glide you go up the top here and you hit continue and you can give it a scene and I know that this was the 2021 nationals and I nearly made gold this day whoops uh, so I'll call it nearly made gold to our flight so we'll see how we go and I'll just put nationals there it's just for the sake of writing something and then if you scroll down it says create scene so it's loading it up this is Avery A Y V R I and lo and behold it's zooming in on me at the top of Murchison and on the bottom here you can see the profile of the flight which actually I didn't go up and down very much at all and then I uh, 
ended up I think it was very low cloud that day so I think I just took off and flew straight into the two tacky couple of scraggy little thermals and so on and so the whole flight ended up going really well I'll go right to the end because it was a somewhat exciting landing so here I am trying to get back to goal and well I fly behind the hill and I saw a nice little landing paddock which I've used before right beside the road and that's where I landed after a couple of hours so I hope hope that's helped quite a bit um, just get that just get a little SD card plug it into your Vireo push the button to transfer the file to SD card it says copy to SD that's the secret and when that's done just see if you can quickly see the number before it disappears and then plug the SD card into your computer I just swapped it over there it is. so plug the SD card into your card reader here find the uh, file in this case it was the USB D or something copy and paste it into a file on your computer and then email it to the scorer Yay, how simple is that? It only took me about two years to learn it. <laughs> so I hope you got something out of this. Enjoy your summer's flying. Bye.